First at five, it has been months in the making. Philadelphia restaurants are now finally back open for indoor dining, but there are some limitations and some changes for customers. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is in Rittenhouse Square with the details. Hi, Trang. Well, hey, Jess, even with all of the precautions mandated by the city, people are still pretty divided over allowing indoor dining in the city. While some restaurant owners couldn't wait to open today, others say it's still too risky. It's a great day for us. It's like the first day of school. Here we are, ladies. The Penrose Diner in South Philadelphia saw a steady stream of regulars since opening up for indoor dining for the first time in six months. Joey. And it was the people we know, the waitresses. Um, they're really good to us every time we're here. I always get their Florentine omelet. It's like spinach and feta. Like it's like my absolute favorite here. The city of Philadelphia is allowing restaurants to welcome diners back inside at 25% capacity with a max of four people per table. For a large space like Penrose, social distancing is easy. They're six foot apart. Every table that has a dot on it, they cannot sit and they are pretty spaced well. In addition, servers are wearing face masks and face shields. There are barriers around the host and cashier stand and counter where delivery drivers pick up food, as well as hand sanitizer stations for staff and customers. I know all these safety precautions are difficult. I know it's difficult to maintain these, but we need to continue to limit how we get together to avoid getting more cases and more deaths. But some restaurants have decided it's not worth the risk. Ginza Sushi and Ramen on South Front Street posted on its social media pages that the small restaurant can only serve three tables under the current restrictions. Its owner is also waiting to see if indoor dining leads to a spike in the city's COVID cases. Bing Bing Dim Sum on East Pashunk also posted on its Instagram account that it's just too soon. Now to encourage people to dine out in the city again, the Philadelphia Parking Authority announced today that it is offering $7 flat rate parking after 5 o'clock in the city at six different garages. We have a link to those on our website, cbsphilly.com. But for now, we're live from Rittenhouse Square. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jess. All right, Trang, thank you.